Hey everyone, uh, last time I went ahead and I showed you how to remove uh, one of these valves. As it turns out, the uh, my seals went bad on it, so I had to go to the hydraulic shop, get a match, and get new seals. So I finally got my new seals, and this is what uh, $72 look like. So, so you have an idea. It's 12 seals, so that's what it comes down to. Uh, $4 a piece, which are not really not that bad. But the problem was that uh, as I'm driving on the highway, one of these little suckers came off fell off so now I'm missing one and when I was at the hydraulic shop uh, they had something similar to it not exactly the original one but close to it it's like about one thousandth of an inch different which means nothing and uh, this one has a breather hole on it and I had to make a tiny uh, modification make a small hole on this one so you also had a breather hose I mean a breather hole just like the other one now the first thing that we're gonna do is um, it's of course we're gonna go ahead and uh, take out one of the seals and put it on the valve that we're gonna go ahead and install on the truck there's 12 uh, there's six valves so I got to do all of them on my truck and the first thing that, that I'm gonna do is there's a big washer and the big washer goes first okay it has it has two parts at the bottom and at the top then you have a smaller one then the smaller one goes in next Of course it's a tight fit and then finally you have the new seal the new seal okay the seal is going to be nice and tight of course because you don't want this thing to uh, be leaking anywhere and pretty much what the seal is it's not it doesn't really hold pressure this is more um, it's more like a what's known as a wiper and a wiper just kind of much pretty much uh, goes up and down very little holding any hydraulic fluid from leaking now the hydraulic fluid that it holds doesn't have any pressure. All the pressure is, is maintained within here. As the valve opens and closes, it switches from one side to the other. So it's, it doesn't have a lot of pressure. Um, they do go bad uh, occasionally. I mean, it takes forever for this thing to go bad, but it happens. You know, wear and tear, it happens. Now the top one is a lot easier than the bottom one because to put the top one in, all we really have to do is grab the new one, okay? kind of set it in place then you put the small one first and then you put the bigger one last it's not like when you do it at the bottom that you have to put the big one first the smaller one second and then the o-ring uh, like that and then all that we really have to do now is grab the valve okay put it from the bottom all the way to the top connected from here and that's about it and that pretty much takes care of uh, all the leaking this thing may have so this is the uh, the new one with that new sealed and uh, I gotta get down here real quick because it slides in from the bottom And pretty much that's all there is to it then the only thing that's left to do it's from the bottom I gotta put this little cap back on with the two little screws put this one back on here Let's see if I can get it back on there like it's supposed to that one and one of the first things that I want to do before I let go of the valve it's put a pin on it that way I know my valve is not gonna fall okay once I do that I can let go of the valve and that's all there is to it uh, now the only thing that's left for me to do is put this little cap at the bottom with the two screws put the four uh, four screws that hold everything together at the top and that's how you stop uh, an oil leak from a leaking valve all right everybody uh, let me know what you all think